Hey guys, it's Mary Capital 1256 and before I start this video, I'm just going to say I forgot something. Uh, you actually have to turn on Bluetooth for iPhone or iPhone Touch and I'm going to show you how to do that. I have my iPhone simulator open because I'm an iPhone developer. So you're just going to launch settings and then you're going to go to general. Over here there will be a tab that says Bluetooth. All you do is you click that and turn it on. And then, of course, y you can um, use this. So, uh, yeah, that's all you need to know. All right. So, now we start the video. YouTube, it is MacApple one 1256 and I'm back um, with another Mac video. I know I haven't done a video in a while, but that's because my room was getting remade, and I had to sadly unplug my Mac, but no problem. Um, so today I'm going to have a really cool tutorial. Um, this is how to um, get the... Er, let you control your iTunes library on your Mac. Um, this might work with PC. Um, all you're gonna need is an iPod Touch or an iPhone. Um, because that's what you're gonna be controlling with. And on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you're gonna need the re remote app. You can get this in the App Store. Um, no jailbreak, um, necessary. Um, in fact, my iPod is not even jailbroken, and I have it. It's a free app. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plug my iPod in. I'll launch iTunes. Okay, so my iPod is connected and we'll wait to for iTunes to connect. And it just, um, now I'm going to cut this part. Alright, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that, um, our iPod is synced, or iPhone, um, it's not going to appear in the drop-down menu or, um, in the devices tab. So you're going to get into your iPhone or iPod Touch. You're gonna look for the remote app, um, and launch it. And iTunes should recognize that. Then you're gonna click Add Library, and um, soon iTunes should recognize it. Hmm. Okay, so it has seen remote because it will say blank your iPod's name, and and then it will um it'll have a passcode on your iPod. So I'm it's a four-digit one. So I'm gonna enter that in, and now I'm just gonna click OK. I want to place, um, believe I have a video on here, so, podcast, here it is, um, I'm just gonna play this, and I can control it right from my iPod, you have all the functions, fast forward, volume, um, it's playing, it's pretty cool. So, that is how you control your 
your iTunes with your iPod Touch. This is pretty amazing, and it's really awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and if you're wondering about the chewing gum, chewing gum, so please subscribe for more types of these videos, and thank you.